Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make some blueberry muffins using this Lakanto blueberry muffin mix. I am about to get my happy on with some muffins, yo, and we are going to get to cooking right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So while we were out at KetoCon in Austin, Texas year, we went by the Lakanto booth. Because, yeah, there's sweet stuff there. Absolutely. We love Lakanto. And uh, they told us about this brand new product that was coming out. It is the naturally flavored blueberry muffin mix. They didn't have any to try. Yeah, we didn't get to try it. And I got a little sad about that, but it was okay because we knew it was on the horizon. Yep. And of all of the things that we've baked, or you've baked, and I've enjoyed, um, we've never done blueberry muffins no, we since haven't. we've been on keto. So I've been missing We've them. done blackberry. Yeah. But we've never done blueberry. Never done blueberry. So, yeah, we were really excited about this. And like Rachel said, we had to get to try it because it was a brand new product and they didn't even have any that we could try. Yeah. And uh, so we did get, we have two bags of it. So guess what? We're going to give one of these away at the end of the video. Yay! So let's kind of go over this a little bit. So this is a Lakanto blueberry muffin mix. We can get it to focus. There we go. I like the coloring of the package. So there's a little bit on the front. It does say one net carb, dairy free, keto approved, gluten free. So on the back, there's some copy. It says, uh, not your grandma's muffins. Blueberry muffins, a staple in grandma's kitchen with a new modern healthy twist. These to die for muffins are so fluffy and tasty, you'll never guess that they are actually good for you. They're not going to be to die for because I ain't dying. Well, let's see how tasty they are first. They'll be to live for. It says our naturally flavored blueberry muffin mix gets rid of the high carbs and the high sugar in other muffins by mixing together almond and coconut flour with our non-GMO Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. In just 15 minutes, you will have freshly baked, sugar-free, keto-friendly, blueberry-flavored muffins that are ready to be enjoyed. Am I 15 minutes away from muffins right you're now? Is that what you're saying? probably about 20 minutes because we have to finish this part. Okay. Hurry. Right, so then there is a little bit of thing on the back here about like what monk fruit is. We won't read that. Uh, let's go over the ingredients. So the ingredients are almond flour, a fiber blend, which is oat fiber, tapioca fiber, cellulose, psyllium, and sugar cane fiber. Now that's the fiber from the sugar cane, not sugar. Right. Okay. So then we have tapioca starch, non-GMO Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, which is erythritol and monk fruit extract. It's the blend. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have coconut flour, blueberry flavored bits, which is made out of erythritol. Uh, what is it then? Uh, De-germed de corn grits, corn fiber, chicory root inulin. Nothing wrong there. Uh, then we have natural flavor, sunflower oil, uh, fruit and vegetable extracts which for color, citric acid, and then monk fruit extract. Okay, so that is all of part of your blueberry muffin bits, the, the little blueberry the, bits. Oh, okay. Okay. Then we have a, what is that, fava blend? I can't see it. It's yeah. white. Fava, blend, uh, fava, blend, uh, fava, fava bean, bean protein, protein. <laughs> natural flavors, baking powder, sea salt, baking soda, sunflower lecithin, and then natural mixed tofrols. All right. Okay. Some of those things I can't say, but we know <laughs> so they're good there, There's nothing bad in there. You know, um, you have corn fiber. Corn fiber is completely fine on keto. It doesn't raise your blood sugar. So let's go over the nutrition facts. So there are 12 servings in this container because you're going to make 12 muffins, I'm assuming. Heck yes. So a serving size is one twelfth of the dry mix, obviously. 35 calories per serving, which is only going to be the dry, dry mix. mix. But I like that they make that distinction. Yes. So then you have uh, two grams of fat. You have, let's see, one gram of protein and nice. 11 total carbohydrates with seven grams of dietary fiber uh -huh. and three sugar alcohols. So is that one net so it's carb? So one net carb per muffin? Per muffin. Nice. Okay. So the, what you need to do here, so it says you mix a half a cup of coconut oil or the oil of your choice All with right. three quarters of a cup of water and three eggs. Okay, so then you're going to heat your oven to 425 degrees, line a muffin in a lightly greased, set aside, beat your eggs, and then bake it. You want to go make these? I think you should be kinder to your eggs. Don't beat them. <laughs> they didn't do anything to you. Well, let's go make these and then we'll come back. Yay! This smells good. Our entire house smells delicious. I smell that. Oh, uh, Okay, yes. so now I did decide, so let me show you this. 
So we got 12 muffins. They're so pretty. I did decide to use butter instead of coconut oil because it's it's butter. I appreciate coconut oil, but yeah, I need it's, some butter I think on it's going to taste better. So there's one for you. Mm. I'm going to have one of these. It smells so good. You ready? Let me yeah. break one apart. Ooh. Nice and moist. Ooh. You're not supposed to say moist. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, kids, but how else am I going to describe it? It is. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Hello, blueberry muffins. That is good. Mmm, that's good. Wow. It reminds me of my favorite muffin mix, like growing up. Just Saturday morning, mom would make muffins. This is really good. And surprisingly, it's not overly sweet. I was expecting to be overly sweet. <laughs> yeah, but it's not got that like... When you ever have like cornbread that's not a sweet cornbread right. and it just takes all the moisture out of your mouth and no. it makes you miserable. It's not like that either. It's not overly sweet, but it's not like not sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like just the right it's amount. Only, it's perfect. It's got yeah. the perfect amount of sweetness. That is good. It is really good. That has been a long time since I've eaten a muffin. And it honestly does not taste like almond flour. It does not taste like coconut flour. Like I'm shocked. I would definitely make it with the butter. Yeah. Because I think that I wouldn't add the coconut flavor, honestly. I would just do the butter. Yeah, I think really I think butter. I mean, they tell you coconut oil, but I like it. I like it with the butter. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we'll have to make one one day with like the coconut oil. No, we just won't. to try it. No, thank you. <laughs> so you want to do our five things? Ooh, five things. Five yes. things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So now I'm going to take a sip of this coffee. Okay. So let's talk about the ingredients. I think overall, the ingredients are not bad. You know, they're not no. the super cleanest ingredients in the world, but they're not bad. No, they're not bad, but I wish that they would have used like dehydrated blueberries. Yeah. Instead of like what they're basically doing is they're making blueberry bits. So I kind of wish they were natural blueberries, but mm -hmm. you know, I can take it. I mean, there's nothing super bad in, you know, their artificial blueberries. They're yeah. basically taking a erythritol and mixing it with like little pieces of degermed corn grits. And, but again, you have very low carbohydrates in it. So it's not like there's a whole lot there that's bad for you. No. Okay. So overall ingredients are like, they're average. They're not the cleanest, but they're nothing horrible in there. And at least it's in a dessert. <laughs> yes, there's a dessert. It's a treat. Yeah. Okay. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? I think so, yes. I wish I would have figured out how many calories and everything are in here with the butter and everything. Okay. But, you know, I did use a half a cup of coconut oil, so that's going to be what... You so, didn't use coconut oil. Oh, no, I used a half a cup of butter. That's right. So a half a cup of butter is going to be a stick, so that's 800 calories. So each one of them's probably got about 80 calories from that, and then you have your eggs, so... Mm -hmm. You know, I'd probably say each one of these is probably about 150 calories without figuring it out on a calculator. That's not terrible, though. Yeah, and again, I could be exactly wrong. I'll put the exact macros with all of, like, the egg and the butter right here along the bottom of the screen. Okay, great. Okay. But overall, just looking at the dry mix, I mean, 35 calories, 2 grams of fat, 1 gram of protein. You have 11 total carbohydrates, and the eggs and the butter aren't going to add any carbohydrates no. to, to for you. So you have 11 carbohydrates. Seven fiber, three sugar alcohols. So it's only one net carb. I like the fact that it's not overloaded with sugar alcohols. No, me neither. And it really comes through nicely in the taste. It doesn't have any kind of cooling effect or anything. It's just very, very nice and smooth. Like really yep. good muffins. Yeah. So uh, number three, how does it taste? Exactly that. Really good muffins. I think it tastes really good. Now, if you're looking for like a really, really sweet muffin, like, you know, I don't know, like a deep chocolate brownie muffin. This is not going to have that sweetness for you. No, but it is like the Sunday morning, slather some butter on this guy yes. and eat it with a cup of coffee. Like it's It's, it's like a breakfast muffin. It's a good breakfast muffin. Not too much sugar, just the right amount of sweetness. It doesn't have any kind of weird grittiness like you would think from like a gluten-free. Some of the gluten-free muffins are like, it's frightening, yeah. really. They don't they don't have a good mouthfeel. So this has a great mouthfeel, nice and fluffy. And I think that if your kids ate it, they would never know the difference between this and like any other muffin mix that you usually use. Yeah, like I said, I'm really shocked that I don't taste the almond flour or the coconut flour. Because usually, I mean, I actually like keto desserts, but you can usually 
know that it's almond or coconut flour. But again, to drive that point home, I would probably use butter versus the coconut oil if you're hoping to not taste coconut right. in your muffin. Yeah. So uh, number four, how, how much, much does, does it cost? cost? Okay. okay. So uh, right now, I believe it's only available on their website. Mm -hmm. uh, it is $10.99 a bag. All right. So about a dollar muffin. A little bit less than a dollar muffin because you're going to get 12 muffins out of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, or you probably could have overdone it and gotten bigger ones, but Costco size muffins. Costco size muffins. So now we do have a coupon code. It's fifteen. It's for fifteen percent off. It's two crazy ketos. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's. I don't think it's too bad a price. A little bit less than a dollar muffin. Was that to be about ninety cents or something like that a muffin? No, but it's a treat. Yep. So enjoy it like a treat. Yeah. So finally, would we recommend it? I think so, yeah. Like, I think it's very tasty, and I've been missing muffins. Right. So this is a really nice breakfast option and you know what i'm gonna really enjoy this christmas morning because last christmas morning you know the family's on keto and so we did like breakfast casseroles and we had like lots of savory sides but i can remember thinking boy i wish we had some muffins right for you know to kind of celebrate and have like a brunch you know with with muffins so i'm really glad for it to be in our lives yeah i, I think it's pretty good and uh, overall i would recommend it um, again, if you're a, like, I need to be a super clean keto person, yeah. it may not be for you. You may right. not want to have those artificial blueberries in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm okay with pretty much all the ingredients in there. I'm okay with all the ingredients in there, Yeah. you know, but again, for the most part, we live pretty clean with our keto, but every once in a while, I don't mind having like a little bit of something. Yeah, me neither. And maybe in the future, they'll come out with just a, a, a regular muffin mix base right. without them in there. And then you can add what you'd like to it. I think it's a nice thing to kind of have in your pantry as like, hey, I need something super quick. Because it literally did. It took like 13 minutes to bake them to a perfect golden brown. And I probably could have even taken them out like a minute before. And I like getting my dessert like quick. Yeah. Fast. So if you're looking for something like, hey, you know, I like to bake all every once in a while. Like we all used to like having just one cake mix tucked in the back. Yeah. So like somebody calls you up, hey, I'm going to be there in 30 minutes and you need something at the house. It makes the whole house smell nice. Right. So I think that's coming. what it's really good for. Yeah. Okay. And even for us now, we enjoy, you know, when we go to an event or something like that, if we're yeah. going to a party or having something at church. Bring something with us. We always like to now bring like a keto dessert because there's so many people who are either keto or they're gluten free or you don't know what all their allergies are. Or so. you don't want to give like a child a whole tray full of sugar. Right. So this is just something that like you can't tell the difference. For. No. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know what you guys think down below. Uh, let us know if you would try this or what, how is this? What is your favorite kind of muffin? Oh, now what about our giveaway? Oh, I forgot about the giveaway. You have to give one away. We, we got the giveaway. So we have an extra bag of this blueberry muffin mix. I kind of want to keep it for myself, but. No, we got to give we'll, it away. We'll give it away. So we're going to do uh, the same thing that we always do, right? Yeah. So you have to be subscribed to our channel. You need to uh, hit the like button. You need to live in the continental United States. You have to live in the continental United States. And you have to leave a comment down below and we will pick the winner from the comments. Yeah, absolutely. And any comment will do. But you know what I'd like to know? What's their favorite muffin? What's your favorite muffin? Yeah, what's their favorite flavor muffin? Maybe it's not blueberry. Maybe it's rhubarb. I like pumpkin spice with cream cheese in the middle. Mmm, yum. I yeah. like it. So, okay. So we will run this giveaway for what? A week. A week. So we're going to go a week from today. All right. I don't know what the date is. We'll put it down here along the bottom. Awesome. Okay. So if you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted. Well, they to have it. to be subscribed to our channel in order to enjoy the giveaway. That is true. That is true. Well, until next time. Bye. bye.